aqua hydrate. It's superior hydration without any calories or artificial additives. Listen with Snickers or Twix candy bars. Right now, any two share size Snickers or Twix candy bars are on sale for only four dollars. Come inside. What's up guys and welcome back to another video. What up guys? Long time no see. So because we've had a while without uh, seeing each other, or better yet you guys seeing me, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a special Q&A today. There's been a bunch of questions that you guys have asked. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer all of them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a poll right now on my Instagram and I uh, see what you guys have to ask. I also have a lot of questions I haven't got into on my YouTube. So I'm gonna be answering those questions here in this video. So stay tuned. So I decided to do a quick uh, Q&A for you guys. I asked you uh, questions on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. This is my Instagram right here. Oh, I'm medio planchado ahorita. What the heck is this, man? There's some tweakers like right next to me too. I don't know if you guys can see that. I came to the park because it's been uh, hot these past couple days. And I think they're smoking weed. I smell it. it smells good. All right. Let's get started with our questions that we do have from you guys. Um, after this q and I'm going to start with the vlogs again. I've been busy with other things, so I haven't really grabbed the camera or done anything. But now, time to get back on the grind. Maybe get another project car, vehicle, or something so we can start recording. So, um, let's get started with our questions right here. I appreciate everybody who did comment. Oh my god, I'm sweating right here. And I, can't, I can't turn the truck on because... Um, it's cammed and everything. You know, it's gonna be loud right here, and while the AC is running and everything. Let me, let me see if I can put down the window a little bit. There we go. Let me fix. Oh, there we go. We got just some gentle breeze right here. All right, guys. Here we go. First comment that we have is from De La Osa Zero One. Que pasó con los videos en YouTube? They're coming, man. Chill. They're coming. Just relax. I'm sorry if I butcher your names. Noemen Jevar. Noemen Jevar. Do you have any other hobbies? <laughs> Noemen Jevar. Do you have any other hobbies besides like working on your truck? Saludos. So part of the reason why I call this channel Project VC is because I do have a bunch of hobbies. I like working on computers. I like working on um, house projects, construction stuff. I like working on vehicles, um, trucks, cars, uh, motorcycles. I like doing all sorts of projects, so I'll probably be including a lot of that this year because, uh, like I said, that's why I named the channel Project VC and not like VC Trucks or something like that because this channel is going to be projects of all kind, not just um, trucking, not just a truck page or anything like that. But what I like to do is a lot of like construction projects and I like to do like vehicle projects, so those are my main hobbies as, as, as well as... um. As well as uh, riding uh, motorcycles, I like doing that. So I'll be including um, some uh, vlog footage of, of uh, motorcycles, probably in the next one, for all the people that like those. So I appreciate that. I'm gonna go ahead and include some more footage of that in the next videos. Uh, any new projects? So like I said, I don't know yet. Um, I'm in between, hopefully, I don't know if I wanna get like a classic car and fix it from the ground up. Or should I get a brand new, like brand spanking new, like Silverado or Sierra and fix that up? So let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, as far as classic car, I'll probably go with like a 68, 69 Camaro and fix it from the ground to up. Like I'm talking about like frame and suspension, motor, try to do everything ourselves for this channel. So I think that would be a nice project. Or we can get another salvage car and just fix it up little by little. So let me know what you guys think. M Torres 90. Actually, the last comment was from Miguel LS37, my bad. 
Uh, next comment is from M Torres 90 Ever thought of doing an OBS project? I did think about that. It's just it's gonna take a lot of money to fix something like that up. Uh, unless I can find one that doesn't have any rust or anything like that, that'd be nice to fix up. So if you guys have one for sale, just let me know. Hit me up on my Instagram. If it's for the right price, I'll probably have a OBS on the channel. Junior El K, how old are you? I am 30 years old. 30 years old. Three zero. 30. 3 0. Alvaro M1, what's your dream build? My dream build is probably that 68 69 Camaro that I was telling you guys about. Oof, I just see my mate on like some nice like Ray Bans driving like that thing has to be chopping obviously legally because obviously it's a uh, smog exempt. So, like that. Probably, probably wearing like all black. All blacked out Camaro from the inside out. Uh, LS swapped, of course, and just like chopping. Like, that'd be nice. That's probably my dream build. And of course, like I said, build it from my, like for myself, by myself, from the frame to the body, do everything myself so I know exactly what's in it. Chepo Rodriguez 30, would you ever live in Mexico? I would, honestly. I think if my kids were a little bit older and the only reason I like here is because of the education. I wouldn't mind retiring out there. I always said, as long as they have, um, I always said, as long as they have Amazon or some type of way to get like packages delivered. Oh man, I would love over there. They're already like upgrading where I'm from, like with Wi Fi. So uh, we've got Wi Fi, even though it's like not reliable. But uh, as long as they have like a good, reliable like mailing service, if they had Amazon, oh, I would have been moved out out there. What amp you got for your door speakers? Uh, this is the one I got right here. It's a Hyphonics. What is this? 1200? 1200 times 4. What cam did you put in your blue truck? I don't remember the exact cam, but I'll leave a link in the description below. For that video where um my boy ect performance went ahead and installed everything and i have the cam specs and everything on there so if you guys want to see which one i got there it is so that was by h hector luna and he said what cam did you put in your blue truck um it's the same one as this great truck it's just uh, wrapped again so i know i get those questions a lot a lot of people think i have the gray one and i had i still have the blue one but <clears throat> the only ones I still have is the burgundy one that I took to Mexico and I still have the The blue one, but I rewrapped it into a uh, gray metallic. So I don't have three trucks Brian NBS2 cuando vas a ir a noches. I hope to go very soon if I don't go like in August September or maybe October I'm for sure going in December. So if you guys want to any of my people watching no cheese videos la gente que mira todos mis videos de no cheese a los espero en diciembre for sure y a lo mejor antes no sé todavía pero por seguro nos vemos en diciembre y en enero and if you guys want to do para la gente de no cheese que va a ir en este diciembre y enero y quieren hacer un meetup o algo o quieren juntarse en el jardín nomás me avisan abajo and I'll make like a meetup or something like a like maybe ojalá la banda or something like in the jardín and just get a couple bottles and stuff and like we'll have a good time um, Adrian Garcia Ruiz 23 what's next for the Cheyenne over at Nochi so now that I've been driving this one all cammed out here with the full exhaust and everything when I go to Mexico and I turn that truck on it has a carbon exhaust but it still has the cats and and the whole exhaust it's not straight piped or anything so it's super quiet so I think the next thing I want to do is probably install headers on the one over there i'll probably take my own headers from here and then um have somebody install them over there labor super cheap over there so i'm pretty sure i can find somebody who installs them over there for like dirt cheap um but i think that's the next plan to um go ahead and install headers on that truck to make it a little bit louder jesus mq310 chui. chui or sam who would you rather ride with so I don't know. I think I have a vlog. Stay tuned, guys, and I'll release a vlog from me, uh, Chuito, and my compadre, uh, Samuel. So um, that way you guys can see some more of that model vlogs that I was talking about. So we've been going riding. So I know a lot of you guys have asked what I've been up to, and then I've been riding most of uh, my weekend. So they've been taking a lot of my time. 
so if you guys want to see those vlogs like i said I'll, I'll start posting them just so i have some content out there for you guys because i know a lot of you guys do enjoy those 10 r80 chavez what's your last name bro my girl's also from noches and says everyone knows everyone that's true uh my last name is cervantes that's why it's project vc and my mom is quesada so i'm pretty sure um just ask so just tell your girl that we're from La Labor and, and my mom from Las Huertas, so I'm pretty sure she knows that. Um, CBR Los Leon, con esa toyagua de abajo, y si, si, como se, le, como se le hizo. I don't think I've been there. But I will. No, nunca he ido a, no creo que he ido a toyagua de abajo. Pero, si Dios quiere, en, en, en diciembre o en enero voy para conocer. Y lo le aviso. Alright, just I'll just do one more because this video is already getting too long. What is this? Already like 15 minutes. How much you charge me to install an iPad in a GMC Sierra 2008? From Jacob Bohuel8. So this is the last one. Um, I get this question a lot, and and I don't think people realize how expensive it is to actually install an iPad. Um, I personally would wouldn't charge less than a thousand dollars because you have to buy the ipad kit which is 250 dollars from soundman and then you have to mold it you got to spray paint it you have to do a lot of body work to get it all perfect so i'm going to show you guys real quick i don't have the ipad on right now but this is how it looks when it doesn't have the ipad so you have to mold it which means you have to cut out all this area you have to blend this whole area because normally there's the ac controls are like cut out right here so you have to glue it mold it body work it fiberglass it and then i uh, use body filler sand it sand it sand it primer it sand it again primer it sand it again and mold it all to here and then only that but you also have to make sure that it fits perfectly because i didn't want any because a lot of people what they do is they'll make this and it'll be sticking out a little bit i don't know if you guys can see that mine's completely straight it looks like oem like that so honestly if you guys are willing to pay like a thousand dollars to get one of these custom made i mean hit me up i'll do it but typically i wouldn't do anything less than that like i said it's going to be 250 for just the actual ipad kit probably another 200 dollars in just materials and then it's going to take probably a week's worth of work of just sanding waiting until it dries sanding waiting until it dries and painting it and everything so to answer your question it'll cost you about a thousand dollars so it's not cheap that's gonna be it for this video guys make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed make sure to check out the website projectvc.com to cop your merch let me know down below what other type of videos you guys want to see if you guys have any other questions that probably didn't get to just ask them down below and i'll try to answer it for you guys but that's gonna be it for this video guys make sure you guys stay tuned for the next one